one click. Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of a torque wrench set for a bicycles. Why do you need them for bicycles? Oh, there is certain, especially if you have carbon fiber or something like that, maybe the uh, saddle is going into the post. And this is from one of my favorite brands, which is Pro Bike Tools from Surrey in the UK. And this is very nice. Now, you will not be carrying this on your bike with you. I don't think so because it's rather heavy because there's a lot of tools in it. We will weigh it for you, including the box. See, you see it weighs almost 26 ounces. So you don't want to be bringing that on your bicycle. But for torque, what's for torque? You can keep some of the bits for it if you wanted to. Uh, the, the torque uh, on setting on this uh, goes, I will show you how to use. I've done torque tools before for, for cars and for nut wheels and things like that, but I have not done one for a bicycle before. So we will just tell you what it is. It's the torque wrench comes first, and I will show you how to use this and how to set it and how to store it, which is very important. And then we have the extension arm and then we have all the different tools. Now, what have we got? I'll just tell you what we have. We have T10, T25, T30. For the Allen wrench, uh, they're all in metric, of course, because the bicycles are all the parts are in metric. They are going uh, from, uh, some of you will call it a hex group, but uh, we call it Allen. Allen was the guy that invented them. 2 millimeter, 2.5, 3 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 6 millimeter, 8 millimeter, and 10 millimeters. So this is ratchet, so it's left and right. I'll, when you're storing it, you pull it out the whole way, out to there, okay? December the 13th, 2022. And they have signed off uh, how accurate it was. So at two, a two pound, mm, A 2NM, it was coming in at uh, 198. A 12, it was coming in at 12.01. And a 20, it was coming in 20.34. They are very, very good tolerances for uh, something like this at the, in this price range. So, so in order to adjust this one, we pull back on this sleeve, this spring-loaded sleeve, and then we turn it. Now. How does it work? We read the gauge here, okay, in mm. It goes left to right, left to right. So for instance, uh, all the even numbers are on one side. And when you reach that number, for instance, five there. Uh, we're not really, we're at five now, okay? Now, so then we have the gauge here. So if you want to go 5.1, you go one turn more. And it locks in place, it clicks in place. And then two. So you can go 5.2. So it makes minute adjustments. It says uh, six uh, Newton meters here on this, it's the tightness of this. Okay, so I maximum. So I'm going to put it on five and I have it set for five. And when I turn it to five, there's one click and that's it. I don't need to tighten it anymore. I can tighten it to six if I want to, but that's the maximum. And I will go and click. One click, this, this bends, that's all it does. It doesn't, it's not like your one that you use for engines or that, that go click, click, click. And then we go one, and it's clicked. This just bends here when it reaches the, when it reaches it, it bends here, like that. You can see it bending. And then we are already on five. Already on five all round. We should do a diagonal first. That's my review on the Pro Bike uh, tool uh, torque wrench set with all these, uh, with the three T's and all the metric ones on it. So thank you very much for watching and if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe.